Hello then, welcome to the clinic. So today we're going to focus on a few medical tests just using the pen torches I have available in the clinic. So the first pen torch is this lovely silver number here. Have the bulb here. The circuit breaker there. Full working order. And this comes courtesy of the brain tumor charity there. Right, so let's use the first pen torch to have a little look inside the mouth. So open wide for me, please. I just want to check the state of the teeth lower and upper and the molars premolars incisors canines and the molars at the back right side lower left side lower and the premolars to the canines, incisors there, and flipping ground. Lovely. And let's have a look at the tongue, up and wide again. Looking for any lesions, inflammation, scarring, damage, discharge. Just raise the tongue now. Head back, mouth up and wide again. I'm going to check the roof of the mouth there. And the inner cheek. Common area for swabs. Excellent. So that is the first evaluation with the first pen torch. A little extension here for going nicely inside the pocket. Okay, so next up to check the pupils, we're going to use a softer light. We have the little extension here for nice pocket placement. There is the bulb. And we have to click the top, and we have a nice soft yellow light there for checking the pupils. Look straight. So right eye pupil is the direct response. Light in the right, but looking at the left pupil for the consensual left. left direct response so equal to the right looking in the right shining in the left left consensual so right consensual and the swinging flashlight test use my dominant hand there looking for relative afferent Pillary defect. That looks fine. Okay, let's switch to the third pen torch. Similar to the first one. We have a beautiful cream matte like finish. batteries inside there and we have the bulb here circuit breaker there full 
full working order. This pen torch comes courtesy of a very special company I've been using throughout the uh, pandemic for cataract surgery. Spa Medica. Spa Medica. A very professional, excellent company. Right, so again, I'm going to be checking the eyes at Ocular Health with this pen torch. It's obviously going to be bright, going to be coming rather close. If you're ready, please. First up, I'm examining the lids of the right, the upper and the lower. The lid are followed by the lashes, looking for any polyosis, a trichiasis, any scales or flakes, also blepharitis on the lid margins, for any redness, any blockages of the meibomium gland. looks clear. Now we're going to focus on the globe. I'm going to look at the transparent conjunctiva and the vessels housed there and the white of the eye, the sclera. Look up to the ceiling for me please. Start on the inferior zone there. Looking for any cysts, redness, hyperemia, discharge, Edema, retention cysts. Now laterally, look to the right. Here I'm looking for signs of pterygium, pinguicula, any degenerations. Look left. Same on this side as the nasal side, That's still lateral. look down as I lift the lid. This is the superior part, the sclera conjunctiva. Looks clear. Let's move on to the left. Just looking straight ahead for me please. Lids and lashes. Checking for any milia. Any collisions. Any styes closer to the margins and the lashes, any abnormal positions. Trichiasis can be extremely irritable. Okay, looking up, inferior sclera and conjunctiva. So just coming back a little bit, my barmium glands, open, upper and lower, to the right, no evidence of pterygium, pinguicula, to the left, the nasal portion here of the globe. And just look up again, please. And look down, as low as you can. There's no evidence of any sectoral hyperemia there. Any edema of the conjunctiva, including the lid. Excellent. We'll stick with the same one for the quick corneal examination. I'm looking for any signs of arcus or any marginal keratitis. If you had a corneal ulcer, you'd probably have pain, redness, discharge. Left cornea looking straight.
and so the Pendorch did us proud there. A nice strong powerful piece from Spa Medica. Okay, we have another Spa Medica one again. We have the silver finish Pentorch this time. Extension for pocket clipping. Separator, housing the batteries. Good working order. And Spa Medica's details there. With this one, we're going to be inspecting the ear. Turn this way, please. the concha and the trigus are all included in this assessment. Just looking behind the ear at the mastoid process. Just ensure there's been no wear from your spectacle arms and sides and joints. Lovely. A little bit deeper into the canal. Healthy levels there. Healthy levels. Okay, turn to the other side now. Okay, I'll start behind the ear this time. Mastoid process looks fine. There's been no wear and tear, no inflammation. The helix. Right way down to the lobule there. The concha. The tragus. The little folds and crevices. Okay, and let's go into the ear canal now. Just delicately, not too far. Normal levels of wax I'd say there. There's no discharge and there's no high premium there. Okay, lovely. Let's finish off by just looking inside the nose now. So lean back like so. Gonna start with the right nostril, looking at the openness of the passage. No history of polyps, nasal polyps. Good, breathe in and out. And the left nostril, keep the head back. That looks relatively open there. Excellent. So all in all, using all the pen torches, everything's looking within normal limits there.